isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. O, oh, tapos na ba kayong mag-Christmas shopping? Tulad ko, Tinatamad din ba kayong pumunta sa mall dahil sa grabing traffic at sa sobrang dami ng taong nagsisiksikan para mamili? At tulad ko pa rin, sawang-sawa na ba kayo sa mga karaniwang gift items na nakikita natin sa mga tindahan tuwing Pasko? Well, baka para sa inyo ang programang natin sa hapong ito. Naisipan nyo na bang magpunta sa bookstore para maghanap ng pangregalo? Hindi lang basta bookstore, kundi ang nag-iisang bookstore sa buong bansa na dedicated to Philippine art. Kaya, huwag kayong aalis kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang naghihintay para sa ating lahat kasama ang kinatawan ng artbooks.ph. Magbabalik ang Art to Art pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Ang Artbooks.ph ay isang independent bookstore na itinatag at pinangangasiwaan ng Pioneer Studios. Isang kumpanya na binubuo ng mga alagad ng sining na dedikado sa documentation at promotion ng Philippine art and culture. Sa kasalukuyang panahon na wala pang gaanong kamalayan ukol sa Philippine art publications, ang Artbooks.ph ay ang nag-iisang bookstore sa Maynila na nakatutok sa Philippine art. Makikita dito ang iba't ibang aklasyon na pawang nakatuon sa mga paksang tulad ng visual arts, architecture and design, film and photography, new media and performance, theater, music and dance, cultural heritage, history, theory and criticism, at travel and lifestyle. Bukod sa mga aklat, meron din silang mga koleksyon ng out-of-print artist books and magazines, monographs, exhibition catalogs, reference books, journals, at iba pang printed matter na hindi mahahanap sa malalaking bookstores. At kadalasan ay nagmumula mismo sa mga artists, independent publishers, at maliliit na imprenta sa iba't ibang dako ng Pilipinas. Bukod pa sa pagtulong maghanap ng mga rare at hard to find books para sa kanilang mga customers. Isang malugod na pagbati ang hatid ng art to art sa kinatawan ng artbooks.ph na si Magandang hapon Ringo and welcome to Art to Art. Thanks for having me here Lisa. Okay, bago natin pag-usapan ng artbooks.ph, um, unahin muna natin yung iyong personal journey as an artist and as a curator. Kailan ka unang namulat Uh, sa mundo ng singing? Um, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I graduated from the UP College of Fine Arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a major in art history, but I decided to pursue um, art making. Mm -hmm. So I was doing a lot of exhibitions under Roberto Chabet. Mm -hmm. And um, I also taught briefly at UP Fine Arts. Mm -hmm. And then um, I decided to open up a, a space, an alternative space mm -hmm. with um, another artist uh, I went to school with. Her name is Katya Guerrero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, we opened Big Sky Mind. Mm -hmm. And then we did that for a few years. And then um, became moms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we had to do other things. Uh -huh. And then uh, four years ago, uh, we met up again. Mm -hmm. And that's when we decided to open the bookstore. Uh -huh. Artbooks.ph. Yeah. And in fact, it's not your first time dito sa Art to Art, no? No, the first time I was here was to talk about um, an exhibition I mm -hmm. curated mm -hmm. for Roberto Chabet. Mm -hmm. That was... 2011. 2011. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So lately, um, naging matunog ang pangalan mo bilang isang curator. Most recently for the Manila Bay Biennial. Yes. Uh, last February. Yes. Uh -huh. This was okay. early this year. Yeah. Uh, um, this was a project initiated by Carlos Eldran. Mm -hmm. 
Um, he's also a friend of mine, so he invited me to to curate the Biennale uh, mm -hmm. set in Intramuros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at first, I was like, because uh, he asked me, it was like September, the year before. Mm -hmm. So I said, wow, that's like in a few months, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and we really wanted to do something, um, well, something that has never been done before in, mm -hmm. in Intramuros, which mm -hmm. is really to install a lot of public art, mm -hmm. a lot of contemporary public art. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. I think we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, being an artist yourself, um, how challenging is it to uh, administer and curate the works of other artists? Um, well, it's more challenging in the sense that you're not the one really, it's not your decision. Like, mm -hmm. of course, you have to collaborate with with the artist, so mm -hmm. sometimes the artist wants to do a st uh, the work a certain way mm -hmm. and you have your own suggestions. Mm -hmm. But I think it's all part of the process mm -hmm. and um, I enjoy working with, with other artists and I've always been sort of community oriented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, before artbooks.ph, uh, you were already involved um, running artist-run spaces that create awareness on contemporary Philippine art. Yes. Um, so what led you and your partner to finally put up artbooks.ph, the bookstore, you know, take us through that journey? Um, well, that started in 2013. Uh, I finished my research contract with Asia Art Archive. This is a Hong Kong based nonprofit mm -hmm. and they um, document contemporary art all over Asia. Mm -hmm. So I was the researcher for the Philippines and so when I when when my contract finished uh, I was like thinking of what to do next. And then Katya was also thinking of reinventing Pioneer Studios. She was running her own photography studio at mm. that time together mm -hmm. with her husband. Mm -hmm. So we got together and then we decided to open the bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, basically because there was no other bookstore carrying um, books on Philippine art. Mm. I mean, it's... The, I know we know the books are out there, but they're just so hard to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that was our that was our mm -hmm. that was our goal simply just to to answer that need yes. because a lot of mm -hmm. uh, we get a lot of people asking like I want where can I get a book about this mm -hmm. you know or that mm -hmm. like they can't find it in national bookstore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's good to, to provide a space for the books so that they can be distributed, so mm -hmm. that more people can um, learn about mm -hmm. Philippine art. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when you say Philippine art, does that, it, does that mean just the visual arts or may iba-iba pang uri ng sining doon? Ipa iba. Um, of course, since Katya and I are both visual artists, that's our strength. Mm -hmm. So bulk of our stocks um, are visual art books. Mm -hmm. But we also have books on dance, mm -hmm. uh, performing arts, music, uh, theater, film. Pero um, lahat Filipino. Basta Filipino. Bas lahat yeah. Filipino. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Design, architecture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a broad range. So pag nagkaroon ng libro tungkol sa art to art, dapat pala sa, yes. <laughs> sa bookstore. <laughs> Or about you, you, for, that, yes. you know. It's a, yeah. But um, of course, so uh, you did say na ito ay kauna-unahang uh, bookstore, ang artbooks.ph, uh, dedicated to Philippine art dito sa Pilipinas. Meron ba kayong naging modelo sa ibang bansa? para sa, um, sa artbooks.ph? Well, we were looking at a few places abroad. Um, Printed Matter in New York. Mm -hmm. And there is DAP, which is a distributor of art books worldwide. But 
Of course, we're, we have to look at it in a local context. Uh, you know. um, so I was talking to my friend Padma Perez, who mm -hmm. owns Mount Cloud Bookshop in, in Baguio. Mm -hmm. um, they're also Philippine, mostly Filipiniana um, bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I got a few pointers from her. Mm -hmm. um, but we really had to do it our way, you know, because... Mm -hmm. Um, the context is different, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. community is different, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we have to adapt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. well the, the, the name artbooks.ph, it actually suggests na it's an internet, yes. it's a website. We're an no? online it's, store. You are an online store. Yeah. So what made you decide na magkaroon ng isang physical store? And saan itong physical store na to? Di ba merong overhead costs? Um, cause yeah, in the beginning, actually, Katya and I were thinking of keeping it simple and just doing an online store. Mm -hmm. But we had the space anyway, mm -hmm. so um, we had Pioneer Studios. Uh -huh. This is uh, on Pioneer Street in mm -hmm. Mandaluyong. Mm -hmm. um, Katya's family um, owns the property, mm -hmm. so our rent is reasonable. Mm -hmm. And we are sharing it with the photography studio. I mean, Katya still operates a photography studio. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not that um, difficult, mm -hmm. I would say, to, to, run a, to run the space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also because I believe in the importance of a physical space. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, it's good for to have a place where people can meet mm -hmm. and talk yes. and you know generate discussion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have small events mm -hmm. in the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what kind of events? Uh, book um, launch. Uh, book related events mm -hmm. like we have book workshops mm -hmm. or talks mm -hmm. or we host um, get-togethers. Mm -hmm. You know because. It's, I think it's still important to, to have physical mm -hmm. um, interaction mm -hmm. with the community. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes our, the people who buy from us, they also like to browse the books. You know, they look at it first mm. and then they'll, they want to talk about, to talk about the book mm. or, you know, mm -hmm. they ask for our suggestions. Mm. So... It's nice to have that physical um, engagement mm -hmm. with with um, with the people who come to mm -hmm. the store. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa artbooks.ph dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa musika, iniyahandog ng Ayala Museum, Music Artists Incorporated at Cultural Arts Events Organizers ang pagtatanghal ng Amal and the Night Visitors ni Giancarlo Mignotti. Sa December 14, alas 7 ng gabi, Ayala Museum, Makati City. Kasama ring mapapanood ang A Ceremony of Carols ni Benjamin Britten. Ang palabas ay nasa direksyon ni Anton Juan. Ang Amal and the Night Visitors ay hango sa mga Italian folk tales tungkol sa nativity at epiphany. Si Amal ay isang bata sa Bethlehem na makikita at susundan ang kumikislap na bituin na magdadala sa kanya para makilala ang tatlong hari at ang ina ni Jesus sa sabsaban. Para sa tiket, bumisita sa website ticketworld.com.ph Iniahandog naman ni na Martin Lopez at Minerva Tanseco ang palabas na pinamagatang Come to the Stable 18. Sa December 16, alas 4 ng hapon sa Ritz Tower Lobby, Ayala Avenue, Makati City, magtatanghal ang Amici Ensemble at ang mga awit na si Jane Banta. 
tumawag sa numerong 0918-946-8252 para makanood. Hindi kinakailangan ng tiket, ngunit maaaring magbigay ng donasyon para sa Valle Hermoso Helping Hands Foundation at para sa mga artists' scholarships tulad ng natanggap ng dalawa sa mga magtatanghal sa naturang concert. Samantala, iniahandog ng Viva Voce Voice Lab ang Opera Gala Manila Grand Voices sa December 15, alas 6 ng gabi sa Ayala Museum, Makati City. Tampok sina Christopher Arceo, Noel Ascona, Abdul Candao, Margarita Gomez Gianelli, Tanya K. Corcoer, Greg De Leon, Ana Daina Migalios, Camille Lopez Molina at Mayor Yu Nival. Kasama sina Roxy Aldiosa, Marvin J. Bautista, Carlo Angelo Falsis, Isa Gilatko, Robbie Malubay, Carlo S. Manyalak, Nicole Pogeda, Iona Ventosilia at Raymond Yadao. Tampok din ang Aleron, Viva Voce at ang Manila Symphony Orchestra sa ilalim ng baton ni Arturo Molina at direksyon ni Floyd Quintos. Para sa tiket, tumawag 0927-245-5242 o mag-email info at vivavocevoicelab.com Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang artist, curator, and co-owner of artbooks.ph na si Ms. Ringo Bunoan. Um, Ringo, how would you define an art book? Um, for me, if I'm going to be very strict about it, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, an art book is something like an art object. Mm. Um, you know, it's it's actually an an artwork already, mm -hmm. and we do have books like that, uh, like artists made um, books. Mm -hmm. So they're one of a kind, mm -hmm. or they're in very small editions. Mm -hmm. um, we also have books that um, you know, they're the design is really well thought of. So it's not just about reading. Um, but it's really a visual um, experience, mm -hmm. no, the, the book. But then, if I'm going to be so strict about that, then I'll just have very few books. <laughs> yes, I was um, thinking. Uh, <laughs> so, we can say it's books about art. Okay. Yeah, so, I think that's broader. So, pili yung mga libro na i ilalagay mo sa iyong inventory? Um, well, I go to, uh, we deal with several publishers mm -hmm. and then they usually tell us, so we have this new book or we check out what they have in stock and mm -hmm. I personally choose each and every single book that mm -hmm. goes to the store mm -hmm. um, and I also like, because, uh, you know, I'm familiar with the museums and the galleries, mm -hmm. and they're always publishing also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we get from them. Artists also, like what I said, you know, they, they make their own books. So they also come to us mm -hmm. to consign their books, mm -hmm. or we buy directly okay. From, okay. from them. And yeah. uh, sa artbooks.ph, is it really just books, or nag evolve na rin into other products related to books? Um, we really focus on books. Only books. Uh, we have a few artist designed cards. Mm -hmm. uh, we still consider this printed matter. Mm -hmm. So okay. we include that, but uh, we really focus on books. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no stationery, no notebook, no, no ball DVDs. Pen. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, no no works of art. You know. uh, we have a lot of works in the studio for uh -huh. display, but uh -huh. we're, not, we're not a gallery. I see. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you, you mentioned now you have a lot of um, publishers that go to you. Mm -hmm. um, how do you source the titles that you carry? Do they present and then you choose? Um, usually, they send um, um, a list, you know, some information mm -hmm. about their new titles mm -hmm. uh, regularly, mm -hmm. um, and or I also visit their their shops. Mm -hmm. 
um, to take a look at what's what's uh, new mm -hmm. or yeah. sometimes there's old stock that just uh, has been you know hidden yeah. so you have to sort of dig uh -huh. through okay. <laughs> dig through inventory yeah. yeah but what about like rare or hard to find books uh, na hinahanap ng isang uh, kliyente na you know parang special yeah uh, we do that also mm -hmm. you also do that yeah, um, sometimes um, book collectors consign mm -hmm. um, books to us mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes we go to the sales or, you know, sometimes mga garage sale, you'll, yeah. you'll be surprised uh -oh. at what you can get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, so different you, sources. Yeah, so do you also like buy second-hand books and then yes. resell them? Yes, okay. if it's in good condition, mm -hmm. we, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what's the profile of your um, clients, your market? Uh, all sorts, mm -hmm. like from students mm -hmm. who are doing the research. Uh, we have, of course, a lot of um, researchers from the art field, you know, curators, um, museum people, or um, people from the academe. Mm -hmm. um, then we also have collectors mm -hmm. who, who they, they want to buy books, you know, to know more about the artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and just people, regular people looking for nice gifts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. or tama, tama, Pasko. Yeah. <laughs> Malapit ng Pasko. So um, I'm, I'm sure artbooks.ph will be uh, doing a lot of business for Hopefully. special gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a very special a uh, gift to give no a book kasi parang nai enjoy mo siya talaga the whole year round yeah it lasts mm -mm. you can pass it on to your children mm -mm. <laughs> you know, and your an, children's children <laughs> yeah can be an heirloom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. okay so sa ngayon sino sino ang mga local publishers na gumagawa ng mga aklat tungkol sa sining dito sa Pilipinas um well Museums and galleries publish mm -hmm. regularly, you know, so we carry books from CCP or from Ayala Museum mm -hmm. or Ateneo Art Gallery, Lopez mm -hmm. Museum. Um, we, yeah, we all work with, with them. And then you have the university presses, mm -hmm. uh, UP Press, Ateneo Press, uh, UST Press, mm -hmm. so they all um, publish also. Uh, mm -hmm. Anvil a little mm -hmm. bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. But mostly, um, we have a lot of books in the store that are made by independent publishers. Mm. So and artists also. Mm. So mm -hmm. um, they don't have the the distribution capacity, like let's say Anvil or mm. you know. Mm -hmm. So they come to us to a smaller bookstore because. Mm -hmm. um, we're more flexible, you know, in terms of uh, consignment terms hmm. or okay. things like that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you also get orders from abroad? Yes, half mm -hmm. of our orders are uh, from abroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, uh, it's hard enough to find these books in Manila. Mm -hmm. What more in the States? Uh -oh. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so personally, what would be on your holiday wish list? Um, that you want for yourself from your bookstore, from your books, from your inventory? Um, <laughs> well, I have them already. <laughs> so, um, one thing I think, uh, the one reason why I opened are, books, so, wait, so I don't uh, have to buy for myself. Are these your personal books? Yung mga dinala mo dito ngayon sa studio? Yes, uh, these are my personal. That's your personal books. These are okay. my personal copies from okay. the house. Uh -huh. uh, why don't you talk about, you know, one or two of them? Um, okay, this is the most special book, I would say. Uh -huh. Because I publish this, okay. so I'm also a publisher. Uh -huh. So this is the monograph on Roberto Chabet. Mm -hmm. And as I said, you know, when, when we designed this book, um, it was really meant to be a visual object. So you can mm -hmm. see that the design mm -hmm. is um, really in keeping with um, the kind of work that he did. Yeah. 
Oh, so, work of art siya talaga. Yeah, different oh. kinds of paper. Uh -huh. So we really experimented with the book. Mm. It had inserts, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm. May, may meron pang parang uh, leaflet. Yeah. And okay. Bonus, um, bonus. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we carry books like this. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. This is also a very nice book um, made by Tommy Hafalia. Mm -hmm. He is a photographer based in Baguio. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is his first monograph. This was published in London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, his black and white photographs of the Cordillera. Mm -hmm. wow. So there's a special edition of this book which comes with uh, a signed photograph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we also have um, books like this. This is published by Anvil. Mm -hmm. this Ega. 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 Yeah, this is by Nick De Ocampo. Uh -huh. Cinema in the Philippines during World War II. Yeah, uh -huh. so this is part of his trilogy mm -hmm. on Philippine film history. Mm -hmm. um, Patrick Campos also on film. Mm -hmm. um, this is an old... An old monograph, already um, a rare book, mm -hmm. uh, out of print na siya on H.R. Ocampo. H.R. Ocampo, uh -huh. This is you, published. You can tell from the cover alone. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. This published by CCP, mm -hmm. I think, in the 80s mm -hmm. or okay. something like that. Um, then we have small exhibit catalogs. Mm -hmm. um, normally... Like books like this, you can't find them in the bookstore because they don't carry, they, they're considered ephemera. Mm, yes. Um, but these are great uh, reference materials mm. and it's also a good way to introduce people to, mm. to a certain artist or movement. Mm. This is about Philippine conceptual art in the mm -hmm. 70s. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then we also carry magazines, Art mm -hmm. Asia Pacific. Mm. Um, it's based, it's printed in Hong Kong, but uh, they also cover Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then um, also That's an old an book. Intramuros. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I use this a lot when I was preparing for the Manila Biennale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nick, yeah. This is by Nick uh, mm -hmm. Joaquin. And yeah. then we have artist made things like. Mm -hmm. This is by Lena Kobangbang. It's uh -huh. a set of zines. Uh -huh. okay. So you can color. These uh -huh. are coloring, coloring books. Uh -huh. Or uh, this is a photo book by a young photographer uh -huh. uh, named Gino Javier. So uh -huh. it's just really a compilation of um, these photographs that he took of uh -huh. covered cars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So different range, uh, I mean, different kinds of books, yeah. you know, uh -huh. from from the very coffee table book to mm -hmm. small books. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so what book would you recommend for someone who has everything? <laughs> Any book is good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. It really depends on, mm -hmm. on what their interests mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so para sa mga nakikinig sa atin or nanonood sa atin ngayon na uh, meron pa silang in their Christmas list na hindi pa na, nakakabili ng regalo for, um, how, how can they find you? Where are you physically located and your online address? Um, we are located at 123 Pioneer Street. Mm -hmm. That's in Mandaluyong City. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we're online um, at artbooks.ph. Artbooks.ph. Yes. And uh, any uh, telephone number, Instagram, Facebook we page? Have, I don't memorize our telephone number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram, so we post there regularly about uh, like new arrivals uh -huh. or... Um, if we have events or okay. promos and is in that the at, store. at artbooks.ph yes. as well? Yes, okay. So at artbooks.ph. Yeah. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat, thank Ringo, you. sa pagbisita mo dito sa amin. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, of course, thank you for creating more spaces where our growing community of artists uh, can thrive. And we wish you all the success for artbooks.ph. Thank you.
Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa Artistang Pilipinas. Thank you.